Supporting a group of people. Number, Kylie. When working in services, you'll often be supporting a group of people at a time. Providing active support to two or more people so they're engaged requires extra strategies. Let's look at some of them. Start by supporting one person to engage in an activity. When they've begun and know what they're doing, move to the next person and support them to be engaged. Continue in this way until everyone is participating. Then rotate around each person. Watch what they're doing and provide assistance so they continue to be engaged. Frequently rotating around each person is better than spending a lot of time with one. When providing assistance, think about the steps of the activity for each person. What step are they doing now and what assistance do they need? What's the next step and what support will they need? This will help you to plan and provide the support for each person. The support needs of each person in a group will vary. Some may require the activity to be set up, then they can do each step independently with prompts and encouragement. Others may require more support. You'll have to work more closely with them so they are participating. Where you position yourself is important and will depend on the situation. For example, you might position yourself between the people you're supporting, opposite them, or closest to the person who requires the most support. When supporting a group, small talk and friendly interactions can create a friendly atmosphere. Supporting a group to be engaged works best when you use the key strategies of setting each person up for participation, rotating around each person, thinking in steps, adjusting your support, and positioning yourself in the right place.